Properties and Uses of Crude Oil by kscience.com Crude oil is a mixture of different hydrocarbons. Some are short chains, where they have one to four carbons, but the majority are long-chained hydrocarbons. Crude oil by itself is useless. Therefore, it must be separated, and this is done using fractional distillation. Once separated, the long-chain hydrocarbons are between 5 to 35 carbon atoms and can be as big as above 100 carbon atoms. It's the length of the carbon chain that determines the different properties of the individual hydrocarbons. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. There are three properties you need to know about. Boiling point, ease of ignition, and viscosity. First, let's look at how the length of the hydrocarbon chain affects the boiling point of different hydrocarbons. Short chain hydrocarbons require little heat to make a liquid evaporate into a gas, whereas longer chain hydrocarbons require a lot of heat to evaporate the liquid into a gas. The next property we're going to look at is ease of ignition. This is just how easy it is to set something on fire. For example, a match is very easy to ignite, whereas a lump of coal is much harder to ignite. The last property we'll look at is viscosity. To understand what viscosity means, let's take a look at how water flows. If you pour water out of a cup, it flows easily, therefore we say it has low viscosity. Whereas if you were to pour honey out of the same cup, it flows slowly and is difficult to flow, therefore we say it has high viscosity. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. The different properties of these hydrocarbons determine their uses. These are the different fractions obtained from the fractional distillation of crude oil. Short chain hydrocarbons are at the top and long chain hydrocarbons are at the bottom. Gases are used for cooking. Petrol is used for driving cars. Kerosene is used for aircraft. Diesel oil is used for large vehicles. Fuel oil is used for ships and bitumen is used for surfacing roads. Bitumen is solid at room temperature and waterproof, making it really useful for surfacing roads. We will now look at the trends in the properties of the different fractions in a little bit more detail. The shortest hydrocarbons are at the top, whereas the longest hydrocarbons are at the bottom. Gases have the lowest boiling point, whereas bitumen has the highest boiling point. This is because the boiling point increases as the length of the hydrocarbon chain increases. Gases are the easiest to ignite, whereas bitumen is the hardest to ignite. This is because as the length of the hydrocarbon chain increases, they become harder to ignite. Gases have the lowest viscosity. This means they flow the easiest. Bitumen has the highest viscosity. It's very difficult for bitumen to flow. Overall, the smaller the hydrocarbon chain, the less viscous the hydrocarbon is. To summarize, the length of hydrocarbon determines the property, and the property of hydrocarbon determines the use. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.